Is Rivendell finally ready for its close-up? Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. Are you having a good week? I hope so. Um, I've had a thought rattling around in my head for the last couple of days, and that is, what is going on with Rivendell? Now, when I first came across Rivendell, I had worked in the bike business for a long time, and I had no idea that it was a thing, that they existed. Uh, once I learned a little bit more about them, obviously, I knew about Grant Peterson. I had been a Bridgestone dealer. But these are bikes that were under the radar even for people that worked in bike shops. In fact, when I bought my first Rivendell, I spoke to Grant not too long after that and told him that I had gotten this A. Homer Hilson. It was the nicest riding bike that I had ever ridden. And when I told him that I got the bike, there was a pause and he said, for you? And I said, yeah, for me. And, you know, there have been sales issues. It's obviously a niche brand, even though you can put it in several different buckets as far as what kind of bike uh, they are. And the last couple of frame shipments have sold out in hours. Now, you might chalk this up to the bike shortage, but I think it's gotta go deeper than that. And one thing that I wish that I had done before I hit record was I wish I would have contacted them to find out if they had any handle on how many of these customers are new customers because I think that would be a very interesting answer. You know, we're not talking about $500 Trek hybrids here. We're talking about expensive frames uh, and bikes that, you know, even if you build them up, you know, trying to be frugal, I mean, you're going to spend $2,500, $2,700. So what is going on? Certainly the shortage is part of it. But in the back of my mind, I'm wondering if maybe people are just starting to value bicycles more. And, you know, if you've got a couple of friends that ride Rivendells, all it's going to take is a couple of times for you to finally decide to pull the trigger. I hope this is the case. I hope that um, these are people that have begun or have started to appreciate really good quality and more importantly, great riding bicycles. Um, because while, you know, a Rivendell can be a gravel bike, a Rivendell can be a commuter bike, a Rivendell can be a touring bike, obviously, it's also a lifestyle bike. It's a bike that is going to just be eminently easy to ride and pleasurable to ride for a very, very, very long time. I think it's an interesting question, and it bodes well, I think, for the future. I had said, uh, starting last year, that if 25% of the people that bought new bikes in 2020 continue to ride them, that's great news, because that's going to make it even easier to advocate for more access, more trails, and if 25% of the people that bought up these two containers full of frames in the last four or five months are new customers, I think that's very good news. Not only for Rivendell, but for just bikes in general. What do you think? Put them down in the comments below. Thanks as always. It's the nicest comment section in all of the internets. I stand by that statement. Until next time, be nice, work hard, ride bikes, play music when you can. I'll talk to you soon.